Alrighty. Hi guys. I'm going to try to figure out how to watch this or how to link Nicole up to this. So hold on one second. Um, let's see. Okay. So let's see. How do I invite? There we go. Hi. Hey. Look at that. It worked right away. I know. You look so cute today. Thank you. You look so cute today. I like those headphones. I am outfit repeating for like the last two days. So thanks. That's fine. I'm, I'm wearing a novelty t-shirt today. I have like three t-shirts and I wear them like once like every other month like out. And like this is the day. <laughs> but I love that I ask you. This, this is the day. But you know what? It's, it's so perfect because it's my favorite um, it's my uh, sriracha t-shirt nice. and I feel hot and spicy in it. So nice. it's perfect. So I don't know. Um, my phone is my watch. So I don't know what time it is. I don't know if it's um, 1230 yet. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I have, I have 1228 on my phone. Cool. So we'll build an audience and then we'll give you a little bit of an intro. Okay. If not, if anyone's, Hi, if anyone's watching the playback, then this is just going to be us sitting here for two minutes. <laughs> just, just, just hanging out. Shimmy and... Just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm really excited. Oh yeah. No, it's, it's perfect. I'm, I was really happy when I saw the text message come through. I was like, yes, that makes so much sense. Yeah. So Hi Kinsey. Really We're just trying to build an audience here for a minute. Um, and then we'll jump right into it. That was really fast. I thought it was going to take like five minutes to get this set up. So now we're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I thought it would take a minute too. And it always, I get those delays on my phone. So I'm like, Oh geez. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, Chuck. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you want, let's just get right into it because we've got people in here. So let's do it. Yeah. So okay. hi everybody. Welcome to fashion Friday live today. I'm so excited to talk to Noelle Johnson from my interview buddy. I met Noelle through this group called the Slay Baby Collective and it is just, she's a local in Nashville. She just moved here. And when she started telling me about her business, I was immediately all about it. So um, Noelle can actually tell you more about her business than I can. Cause when I tell people about you, it's just me gushing. So Noelle, why don't you introduce yourself and tell the gals watching like what you do and what my interview buddy is. Sure. Um, so my interview buddy is a interview prep company for women. So what I do is I help women through every stage of getting ready to change their careers. So either they're getting prepared for an interview and I walk them through, um, we do a video one-on-one, -on -one. I work on their resumes. And if they're looking to switch careers, I'll walk them through every step to try and figure out what they want to do, build a career path, and then get a job on that career path. Because I don't believe in working someplace where you spend all of your time, you spend more time at work than you do with your family. Yes. So I believe that everyone needs to be someplace where they're happy and they're satisfied and they're making money that makes them feel good. And I also do negotiation strategy sessions because that's something that a lot of women struggle yes. with. And, um, and it's just super helpful. So I'm really enjoying what the company is doing and how it's really benefiting women. Well, very cool. So you guys can see like when I met Noelle, I was like, Oh my God, you're one of me. This is so great. And Noelle actually hired me almost a year ago at this point to uh, mm -hmm. style her and to get her brand kind of together for my interview buddy. Like what did my interview buddy look like to her? What does it look like to other people? And that kind of led me into a whole other path of styling for people's brand. Like I've styled women for their everyday life. I've styled artists, I've done music videos and photo shoots, but there is this whole other subgenre that we have now, especially as women that run businesses or want to get ahead in the corporate world, we have to have a brand mm -hmm. now. So Absolutely. can you talk a little bit about how things have changed in the last five years with social media when it comes to business and branding yourself? Yeah, so I think that one of the biggest things about um, when you're in your career is just to stand apart and to dress and be the way that you really um, you want to show up to the person that you your higher self. So I always want to make sure that I am doing everything like if I want to be the CEO of a company I start operating like I'm a CEO of a company I start working my way towards that so I think that um, with social media it's just 
getting connected with the right people, um, taking a look at what's out there, seeing how well women are doing. Because now that we have access to really follow what um, some of our heroes are doing, you can see their day to day and you can see how they're shining. And you can say, well, I want to do that. How do I mimic that? How do I get that life that she has? Um, but in a healthy way, yeah. obviously there's all this comparison issues, but I can get a good idea just by going on to LinkedIn and seeing, oh, wow, you know, I want to be able to run a company and I, you know, I can take a look at all these different CEOs, see what they're doing, see what their brand is like. And I can get an idea of like, what do I, what can I pull from that that works for me? I love that so much because I feel like I love that you view social media as a tool to uh, further your vision as opposed to hindering it. Cause a lot of people get wrapped up in comparisonitis. So yeah, uh, you, you actually interview people on a regular basis. What are some mistakes yes. that you see people when they come in to do an interview, be it in their style or their self-confidence? What, what are some issues that you're running into a lot? Yeah. So with style, um, and I'll start there, it's not being put together. Um, maybe they, um, maybe they're dressed as it's like a very, very casual office. Even if they've heard that it's like a business casual office, they're dressed under whatever yeah. it's supposed to be. You should always dress for the job that you want. Um, and you should have an idea. You should always at a minimum be dressed as business casual. And even that I think is a little too casual. I always say to do at least business and that can mean different things. And I'm sure you can go into that yeah. in a little bit more detail, but with, you want to be able to look really put together. I've um, done interviews where people have like their collars sticking up and mm -hmm. because they're nervous, they're kind of sweaty, they're missing a button. Yeah. Like you have to look like you came in ready to just, you know, chew nails. You're ready to get this job. Um, so even though you're nervous, you should be able to um, show in your dress that you care about the position and that you didn't come disheveled. You didn't just come out of bed. And I know that normally when that happens, it's just people are nervous, but it comes across as they don't care. Yeah. Um, with with self-confidence, um, one of the pitfalls that I see is that women feel um, unworthy or undeserving of a certain position, especially if they're looking to transition careers. And they just will say, oh, well, you know, I'm just so, I'm just so lucky to even get the interview. And I, I love being positive about, you know, getting an interview, yeah. but this is for you. This is your dream. So you need to take, I think that people, if you're struggling with your self-confidence, it's about taking uh, the company and even the hiring manager off of the pedestal, yes. talk to them like they're a normal human person because the person that's interviewing you, they just want to hire somebody. Right. They're trying to get somebody that's going to make their job easier. So they just want to have a conversation, obviously with lots of respect and professionalism, but you don't have to be so nervous and feeling like you don't deserve to be there. It's just like, hey, obviously if they saw your resume, they like you. Yeah. So you can already take off all of that fear that you're not enough because you're enough if you're in the room. Right. I love it. And I, you said something about one of your posts where it's like, not only are they interviewing you to see if you like, or if they like you, but you're interviewing them to see if you like them and if it's a good fit. Absolutely. I mean, you can look at a job description and look at the company profile and say, oh, this is a great place. But until you go there and you start asking questions, you don't know if that's the right fit for right. you, especially if you're staying in the same industry. Like you don't really know what, you know, what is the atmosphere? Like? Uh oh, I think we might have lost her. Um, there we go. Yes. Just there we go. Um, yeah, yeah. But um, it's just, you want to make sure that they are just as right for you as you are for them. You want to ask them about their management style. You want to get an idea of why did the person that left, why did they leave? Like you want to know what you're getting into because you want to love the job as much as you want them to love you. Exactly. So uh, when we started working together, you and I did, we, you came to me with kind of this idea of what you wanted my interview buddy to be like. And you also were talking about how you felt like showing up as yourself would kind of deter people away. And yeah. I think that when you talk about business casual or business, I feel like you can find yourself in those in like your version of business. So like my version of business mm -hmm. is going to be way different than your version of business, but I'm still going to show up put you. together and you know, we, we basically figured out like your hot 1950s teacher. 
Yeah. Because you're, you're this. an educator. So Noelle wears a yeah. lot of, she wears a red lip, like nobody's business. She's got a lot of the fit and flare dresses in that 1950s style. The last time I saw you, you had on like a really cute, um, like a raincoat with a skirt underneath it. You looked so stinking cute. No, I saw you on your birthday and you had on a yes. fit and flare dress too. So stinking cute. And, but that would look ridiculous on me. So like my version, I would look like Susie Homemaker. So yeah. my version yeah. is I wear a suit. I wear like a 1970s mm -hmm. suit. But I think that finding your style profile, which I relate to as kind of like an umbrella, and then having the mm -hmm. things that fall under that umbrella, having a go-to arsenal for that kind of thing. So for me, if I right now, it's pretty casual today. I'm working from home, but I'm still dressed up like... I'm still yeah. wearing a shirt. I'm wearing real pants with a button on them. I'm not wearing sweatpants. Mm -hmm. And I feel like then meeting me has a whole outfit, like super crazy. Like I'm about to negotiate like a five figure deal has like a different version, but they all fall under the same category. Absolutely. So when, mm -hmm. how do you suggest that people show up and show their personality in a job interview without being too, kind of off the radar as far as professionalism yeah yeah so for me I think that you know what colors work or you should know what colors work best for you so I think that wearing a color that you feel really confident in is always a really good step um I want to always make sure when I'm interviewing um that I'm 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 me. And so for me, it is a lot of the clothes that you're talking about, but I have to be able to dress them so that they're professional. Because if I look like a 1950s housewife, then they're like, oh, you know, what's going on? So I can take... Shouldn't you be um, baking pies or something? <laughs> what's happening here, really? So, I mean, so what I'll do is I'll dress it so that it's still me, mm -hmm. um, but it's professional. So I'll put on a blazer with the dress and I'll have flats on instead of high heels. Um, and I'll do my makeup and a little bit more subdued. But I know for me, I always feel more confident when I have a bold lip color. That's something that I always carry with me. It makes me feel like a million bucks. And when I don't have that, I feel a little bit less confident. Yeah. But because I have all the lipstick on, I can't do a ton more. I can't do eyelashes that are super long and a bunch of jewelry. Because when you're on an interview, you don't want to distract anybody from what you're yeah. wearing and what you and what you smell like. So be careful, ladies, with perfumes, <laughs> uh, fellas, with your cologne. Um, it could really distract people. But you just want to be able to dress like you and find the pieces that make you feel confident. Mm -hmm. um, and then if it is something that's a little bit more wild, you just need to be able to balance it all yeah. out. Yeah, well, my last day job that I had was almost two years ago. And it was for like a rock and roll kind of jewelry company. So I showed up as me. I wore my bell bottoms. I wore my like snakeskin boots. Like I wore a ton of jewelry. I wore my scarves and stuff. And they hired me because I had good style. So yes. that worked out in my favor on one end. But if I would have shown up like that to work for a lawyer, it would not have worked out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look at being at like the very, very corporate America, you can't, I mean, you're expected to wear a suit. Like if that, if it's the attire is business and that's what you're looking for, you're looking to be in a law office, it's business, business, but you can still put in color. Yes. Um, if you just love wearing, um, if, if you're really comfortable in a suit and you want to put on, you know, maybe a nice bracelet would be nice, or maybe a necklace, if you just want to be able to show a little bit of your personality. Um, I've had interviews at places that are a little bit more um, corporate and I know that like everyone that's there is going to be wearing, and I'm from DC, so there's a lot of not a lot of color, but I'll put on a necklace yeah. that makes me feel really good. Even if it's just like a pendant necklace, but I just love that yeah. pendant. It just makes me feel really strong and really powerful. And I'll still do the lip color. So it's something that doesn't say, oh, she's, you know, she's not going to be a good fit. It's like, oh, I can see her, um, but she's not distracting yes. me from what she has to say. I can still tell that she's smart. Um, and I'm not really interested in like all the whimsy that she may have that's behind her. I got us. I have so much whimsy today. I wore the wrong shirt for this. I definitely did. I wore a shirt with heart shaped buttons and beetle lyrics on the back of it. This nice. is why I work for myself so I can wear this stuff. That's true. <laughs> so <Yes. laughs> what do you have tips for the woman who's in a job right now that she doesn't love, 
but wants to branch out, wants to up level, like what are your tips for that particular woman? And then how can we apply that to style? Oh boy. So I, like I love this. Whole, your whole gig. That's my whole thing. Um, so if you're working and, and I'll say again, I truly believe that if you are at a job, you spend for most of a full-time job, you're there than you are more, there more than with, you are with your family. So you need to be doing something that you're passionate about. I think that it's important if you're looking to transition that you take the time to take a look at what it is that you want to do and not just say, oh, I can't stand my job. So I'm I'm just going to go take a look at any job that yeah. I have the skills for and it's fine. It's about looking for the very best. We're always looking to level up and not just in salary. How is this company going to be able to help me? How is this company going to align with my goals? Are they going to, um, does this fit in with my family? Am I going to have to work eight hours a week? Am I going to be doing a lot of travel? Yeah. It's taking a look at everything that's important to you and then going after just like, you'll see these job uh, descriptions and it's like, it's been tailor made for you. Yeah. These are the jobs that you want to be going for. And then you want to get really prepared for the interview as opposed to just jumping into something else that you'll end up hating in about a year. Yeah. Cause what you'll end up doing is being a job jumper and your hiring manager or recruiters kind of look at that as, you know, yikes, how long is she going to stick around? Yeah. Um, so the way that I would apply that to style is, have a good idea of what, since you're switching industries and you're not from that particular industry, is to understand how people in that industry dress. So if I would spend some time talking to people that work in those industries and seeing, you know, what's her style like when she goes into work? Because if I don't know, I haven't been there, I'm going to guess business casual. Yeah. I'm going to guess maybe I maybe just put on a suit because a suit feels safe. But if um, if I'm looking to jump into a creative industry and I don't know how everybody else there is, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask somebody. You know, what is it? What is it like there? Like I'm, at my um, my current position, my nine to five is a lot more casual than um, than I would have thought if I didn't know people in the that work in that industry what it's like. It's a completely different industry than what I'm used. To. <laughs> Bo is helping me to make her, her opinion heard. It's an important opinion, and I'm glad that we've heard it. Um, but it's it's just about to connecting with people and understanding um, what's there, what's the what's the vibe yeah. like, what um, what does my manager look like, and if you want to go up to that next level, just get a little bit dressier than whatever's required. Just go a little bit, a little bit more professional than you think that you need to get. I love that, and we talked about this. And you were like, "Well, everyone that I work with right now wears sweatpants to work," and I said, "Well, that's not you. Mm -hmm. You don't want to live a life where you wear sweatpants to work. So wear whatever you want to work." And then I remember you telling me that people are now treating you like you're kind of above them in a lot of ways people are looking at you as a leadership position even though you might be on the same team which I love yeah yeah so um I would say so when I started this position I, I and I, I come from um like non-profit but corporate leaning um jobs and I love to get dressed up and I love to wear makeup. And so when I started this job, I mean, a lot, it's just way more casual. It's a super fun environment. And there's a lot of companies that are like this, like it has like a very Silicon Valley startup feel, but I want to be able to feel like me. And, you know, at this point, when, like if we, if we have a meeting, I was at, um, I was traveling with a bunch of my coworkers and somebody had walked in and said, who here is from corporate? And my boss said, well, it's Noelle. She's the only one that dresses like yeah. it because that's just how I'm comfortable. That's how I show up and that's how I feel really good. And even though he's, you know, the head of the company, that's just the way that he views me because that's the way I um, come to work every day. That's how it feels right to me. And I don't, um, even though I stick out, I still fit in with my personality, everything that I'm doing, but it's being true to who I am. Um, without, and, and I think if you're the opposite, where you're just very, very casual and in a corporate environment, you just have to find these pieces that you can still be yourself, still be yourself, still show up, and but still, you know, be professional. Yes, absolutely. So, one more question, and then I'll let you get back on with your day. How do you feel like showing up as yourself has changed your work ethic and your hustle? Oh, sure. So when 
I feel more, I feel the most confident when I'm dressed my personal brand. I can always tell the difference. So um, I'm a big um, believer in the um, the secret light. It was like the secret of tidying yeah. up. So I did spend a lot of time of getting rid of anything that didn't bring me joy. And when I put on a piece that makes me really happy, it makes such a big difference. Yeah. I feel like I can get so much work done. I feel like I'm more approachable. People can ask me more questions. I can get more done when I feel very sharp. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just, you know, it is starts with, um, for me, it's, it's my makeup and I don't put a lot on, I don't have foundation on, I don't do too much, but just having my, my lips look great. Then I feel, start feeling good. Then I put on a dress that I love yeah. and I'm on fire. You can't tell me anything if, you know, I'm ready to negotiate deals and I don't even have to negotiate a deal that day because I have a yeah. dress on, I'm just ready for it. And then I never know when an opportunity is going to come up where I'm going to be. Um, as an as an executive assistant, this is kind of common where I'm kind of thrown into yep. something where I'm going to have to meet a lot of people, where I'm going to have to be kind of a, have a, a hostess piece of my position. Yeah. So if I'm always ready for it, then it's fine. Today is kind of a funny day, but um, but this would actually be okay in my work environment because it is very casual. But I know what's going on every day yeah. and I'm just ready for it. I'm happy to dress for it. And it makes me feel just ready to take on anything. I can take on anything in my hot sauce t-shirt because I love it. I, uh, yeah, I was thinking absolutely. that, and we, we had this conversation when we worked together and when I work with women who are in the process of like figuring out what their brand is, I always ask the question, if someone were to run into you in the grocery store and say, Hey, what do you do? If they looked at you, would it make sense? So, like, if someone mm -hmm. were to look at you in your, like, you know, 1950s dress and your glasses and your red lip, yeah. and you were like, oh, I teach yeah. women how to get the jobs they want, I'd be like, that makes sense. That's, mm -hmm. like, a fun, that makes sense. like, I want to be her friend. Well, I am now. But you know yeah. what I mean? And if someone were to approach me and say, <laughs> yeah. like, hey, what do you do? Um, if I look like crap, which is very few and far between, I just tell them I'm a plumber. But I, yeah, <laughs> no, but that, that's so true. Like, I think um, one thing I used to get caught into because I'm a bigger girl is to wear clothes that hide me and I never felt confident in them. And I felt like kind of like I'm swimming in things. And I think that maxi dress looks amazing on like 80% of yes. bodies, but on my body, it I kind of swim yeah. in it and then it's dragging on the floor. I don't feel good. Um, and I feel like I'm hiding and I feel like don't ask me any questions. Yeah. I don't, it just, I don't feel good in them. So those are clothes I get, I get rid of. And then another thing is um, buying clothes at a higher quality. So I understand that it's more expensive, but I have you know, maybe six or seven really nice high end dresses. And I circulate those all the time because I would rather be wearing these dresses that make me feel amazing and these jumpsuits that make me look amazing than having all of these kind of crappy quality yeah. clothes that start falling apart. And I'm like, oh, I'll sew that back together, yeah, you know, eventually I'll, I'll get that button back yeah, on. Don't worry about that zipper. I'll just put a, I'll put a blazer on. No one's going to know that that zipper is breaking in the back. Like that's not cute. And I don't yeah. feel good when I don't have it all together. Well, and it's not a smart investment. I always talk about the cost per wear formula. You could buy six or seven dresses at a hundred dollars a pop and not have to shop again for a really long time. If you were going to go to H&M and buy the same dress for $10, you're going to buy it 10 times a year. So you might as well buy one yeah. thing that fits really well, that makes you feel good, and just suck it up, buttercup, and move on. Yeah. We are grown women. Absolutely. We can afford to splurge every now and then. Yeah, and you told me that when I was talking about um, jewelry. And I said, yeah, I like, you know... I, I like Charming Charlie's and I still do like yeah. Charming Charlie's and it's like fun, but you're like, you're a grown woman. You can get a few pieces that are a nicer end because I would have all this jewelry that would fall apart. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, well that's okay. It's all. Keep we feel great. That it didn't cost two bucks. Yeah. Well, tell everybody where we can find you and um, yeah, and let them know what you offer and how you can help. And I just wanted to get your message out there. I just love what you're doing. 
Okay, thanks so much. Um, so you can find more about me on my interviewbuddy.com. Um, you can find me, and I'll put some links here in, in the um, on the comments. But you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram. Every week I do a interview uh, tip of the week, and I do shape up your resume tips. Um, and I give lots of free advice online. I do lots of Facebook lives, and I just really want to help women get to that next level in their career. I really believe in you. I'm always rooting for you, and I. I want to see you get that salary, get those jobs mm -hmm. that you really want. Because when you're at a level mm -hmm. that's amazing, then more women feel like they can do it. Yeah. And that's what I'm all about. So that's um, that's me in a nutshell. Definitely find me on social media. And if you um, are looking for a resume review, you're looking to get ready for an interview, or if you're looking to transition careers, I'm your girl. I'm here to help. Noelle is the kind of girl you want cheering you on. Trust me, you guys. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I will get I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for tuning into Fashion Friday. All right. Bye. bye, -bye.